Are you logged out of your Windows 10 or 11 PC because you forgot your password? Don't worry. In this video, I'll show you three simple methods to reset your forgotten password and regain access to your PC. We'll cover options for both Microsoft accounts and local accounts. So let's get started. Method 1: Microsoft account. This method works only if you use the Microsoft account to set up Windows. On your login screen, click I forgot my PIN. Windows will ask for your Microsoft account password. Just enter it. Windows sends a security code to your email. Check your email and enter that code here. Click continue. Now you can create a new PIN. Choose a PIN that you will easily remember. Once done, you can immediately log in to your PC using the new PIN. Method 2: Security questions. Now, what if you don't use a Microsoft account? You might have a local account instead. If you set up security questions when creating your local account, you can use this method. On the login screen, enter any wrong password and press enter. You'll now see a link saying reset password. Click it. Windows will ask you the security questions you created earlier. Answer each question carefully. Be careful with spelling and capitalization. After giving correct answers, Windows lets you set a new password. Enter and confirm your new password. That's it. You can now log in with your new password. But remember, this method only works if you have previously set up security questions. If not, Let's move on to the next method. Method 3: Command prompt. This method is a bit technical, so follow the steps carefully. On the Windows login screen, click the power icon. Hold down the shift key and click restart. Keep holding shift until you see a blue recovery screen. On this screen, select troubleshoot. Then click advanced options. Select command prompt. On the command prompt, go to the C drive where Windows is installed. Go to the System 32 folder. Now, we are going to temporarily replace the accessibility tool on your login screen with the command prompt program. This command creates a backup of the original accessibility tool. Now, type copy command dot exe utilman dot exe. This command copies the command prompt and renames it as utilman.exe. That means when we click the accessibility icon on the login screen, it will open command prompt instead. After running these commands, close the command prompt window. Click continue to restart PC. When you reach the login screen again, click the accessibility tool in the bottom right corner. Because we replaced the tool earlier, it will now open the command prompt window. We'll reset the password from here. First, type net local group administrators and press enter. This shows all usernames that have administrator rights on this computer. Find the username of the account you are logged out of. Make sure to note it down exactly, including capital letters. Then type net user, followed by your username and an asterisk. Then press enter. It will ask you to enter a new password. Type your new password carefully. You won't see it while typing. This is normal. Press enter. Type the same password again to confirm. Press enter again. If everything goes right, you will see the message the command completed successfully. That means your password has been reset. You can now close the command prompt window and log into your PC with the new password you just set. We are not done yet. We need to restore the original accessibility tool so everything works normally again. So, once again, go back to the Windows login screen. Hold Shift and click Restart to get into the recovery screen. Once you are on the blue screen, go to Troubleshoot, then Advanced option and open Command Prompt again. In the Command Prompt, type C and press Enter. Then type cd windows slash system32 and press enter. 
Now type del utilman.exe and press enter to delete the file we had copied earlier. Finally, type ren utilman.exe.bark utilman.exe and press enter to rename the original accessibility tool back to its proper name. That's it. Close the command prompt window and restart your PC. Now the accessibility icon will work normally again. You are done. You have reset your password and everything is back to normal.